Carl Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. everybody thank you for checking me out once again guess what i am very happy at the cape coast dungeon right now why because i am seeing a lot of youth uh, from the african diaspora or the caribbean coming into ghana cape coast castle to learn about what really happened to your forefathers and i'm glad seeing younger brothers and sisters some of them hearing the story of what happened to their ancestors i look at them and I feel like they, they, they are having this feeling of pain of knowing exactly what happened to them. I am glad, honestly, like I've always been seeing a lot of people coming here, but most of them are the elderly and all that. But this time seeing uh, brothers or sisters at, at, at between the ages of maybe 20 to 25, 27, I am very impressed. I think this should be something that most of our brothers and sisters out there, if you're watching this video, try and make a step into coming to ghana just to learn about the history how come you are at where you are right now who suffered who sacrificed what did people go through for you to gain what you're having right now so i believe that this shouldn't be the first of me seeing uh, younger brothers and sisters coming to ghana to learn about the history of what happened to their ancestors let's go on officially welcomes you all to cape coast Lake castle my name is tony Wedi. And before what you are standing is the male slave dungeon. We have basically two dungeons here in Cape Coast Castle, the male dungeon and a female dungeon. In a male slave dungeon, we are as many as 1,000 enslaved African men. In a female dungeon, we are as many as 500 enslaved African women. On top of this male dungeon, the British built a church. The name of the church is Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. And Society for the Propagation of the Gospel is an Anglican church. The Church of England. Now, there are three slave castles in West Africa. It is unfortunate that the three slave castles are located in Ghana. These slave castles are Elmina Slave Castle, Osu Slave Castle, and Cape Coast Slave Castle. The Elmina Slave Castle was built by the Portuguese in 1482. It is the largest. It is also the oldest slave castle. That slave castle is 540 years old. It's crazy. Actually, I'm from the US, Cleveland, Ohio. Government name there is James Brown. And once I come here to Ghana, took on a Sunday born name is Quasi. This is my second time here at the Cape Coast Dungeon. And um, this experience here is a little different from the first. And, um, and I guess each time I come, we're going to get powerful and powerful. It's much needed because I'm getting that connection back to my ancestors. And of the victims of the consequences, not every African was a victim. To this. His name is Philip Wako, but the name is traditionally pronounced Kweku. But because the British could not pronounce his name Kwako, his name Kweku was anglicized to Kwako. He's the son of a wealthy African called Obripong Kojo. His father used to work here for the British merchants. So when his son was 11 years old, the church on top of the male slave dungeon, that's the church. The name of the church again is Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. <coughs> The church gave him a scholarship. They took him to England to study theology at the University of Oxford. He was the first African to be ordained as an Anglican priest. He became a priest in the church. They used him to promote the Abolition and education. Philip Kwaku was born in 1741. He died in 1816 at the age of 75 years old. This courtyard, as you see, was also a graveyard. So, base 
was the church on top of the Mill Slave Dungeon. The name of the church, again, is Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. And this is a hole you saw in the middle then. Do you remember? That's a hole. So the British Christians who worship in the church, in order for them to see what is going on in the middle then, they oh, wow. touch lights, or lamps, fire, like this. This part is... It's very strange. The church would have been built somewhere. And then built it on top of that. Built what on top of The church. This, I think, is a spiritual way of oppressing the African. Remember, European culture is all about three things through that privilege and power. Don't forget it. A piece of land taken out from the Portuguese, Swedish, Danes, Dutch, and finally English. So five different European countries at one time or the other fought over this piece of land. Power, gold, supremacy, human resource, and slaves, and then topography of the area. From here to Elmina, you wouldn't have such space to construct an edifice like this. So to get the land at the time, the best you could do was to pump up. So when Portuguese were in Elmina 14, they somewhere 1555, they settled here, had a wooden structure here, named the area here Kabukosu, to mean short cake. It was therefore the English who changed Kabukosu to mean Cape Coast. Incidentally, same nine letter words. Cabo, four letters as Cape, Coso, five letters as Coast. So Cape Coast is not hyphenated. Whatever you saw it written with dash or hyphen is incorrect. Because Portuguese lost the battle to the Dutch in Elmina Castle, they realized that wooden structure here wouldn't make the anything. So they left for Angola, Mozambique, where they built the whole slave factory. Yes, so like I said, um, I'm happy seeing uh, my man also sharing the history of what happened with the youth from the Americas. Yes, I said, looking at their faces, it looks like uh, they never knew certain stories. And now hearing these stories, they are amazed as to what really happened with the ancestors. This uh, is called the female punishment cell. We have already been to the mill condemned cell. In the mill condemned cell, no windows for the African men. They need them food. They did not. The British merchant did not give them food and water. No windows, no lights, no that. Now that door you see there is the door of no return. There are two female families. These are the two female families. In each of them were 280 women. So that means we're 500 women. That was a maximum number. Better black or white to forgive the